How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for some more Pokemon Gold. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but it is pouring outside. Just so you know, if you hear any thunder cracks or whatever, yeah, that's what that is. And it, it kind of sucks. Anyway, um, yeah, last time we uh, defeated Jasmine of Olivine City, and uh, in this episode we're going, we're going off east to uh, the undiscovered towns we've been to. Also, Mount Mortar. I think I, I talked about this a little bit. Um, basically, you you really can't fully explore this place. We'll be coming back here later um, because we need to move uh, another HM move in order to fully explore it. Uh, we'll probably be coming back later. If I forget, somebody please remind me. Anyway, Red Lapras time. Are you a trainer? You are a trainer. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokemon I caught. Well, okay then. If you have to. You don't look like- oh, I guess you're a fisher, not a sailor. And Quillfish! We haven't really seen this before. This thing's pretty low level. Alright, let's take this thing out. Go, Eevee! <clears throat> now, um... I also- f I'm- I'm think- I haven't gotten the- uh, I don't know why I was stuttering saying that sentence. Um... I haven't gotten all of my ideas for my, uh... Team yet. I don't know why it turns into this. That's like the substitute animation. Whatever, it's gonna die anyway. Um, I haven't gotten all the nicknames set. There's a few that I still need to think of. So I don't have my team nicknamed yet. I have a few uh, pretty good ideas. What is this? Mountain Mortar. Waterfall Cave, yeah. I don't think, are you a tr you stupid weird, weird kid. HEY! <laughs> what was that in all caps? He's like, HEY! HEY is four horses. Um, oh, it's one of those creepy guys. Pokemaniac Shane with a neat arena. Not gonna judge, but that's pretty freaking weird. The Pokemaniacs really, really look like maniacs in this game. They did a really good job of it. Ugh. Oh, that's okay. I'll just use Shadow Ball again and destroy you. Destroy you! Ah, oh, almost. I didn't think my attack would be that lowered. Whatever. Ah, uh, really? That's, uh, not very impressive, Nidorina. Not at all. Anyway, he gets level 26. Excellent. Alright, what do we got next? Nidorino, I'm pretty sure Eevee can hold his own. I think Nidorino is awesome. Of all the Nidoran ones, Nidorino's my favorite. Definitely. I'm surprised this isn't doing that much damage to me for being super effective. It's, uh, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Let's see. Oh, nice. Probably finish it off with another- Ah! You figured out my weakness! Holy crap. <laughs> Don't kick an Eevee in the face or he'll- I always wonder what exactly Quick Attack is. Like, what it is. Is it just like a fast tackle? Because in the anime, like, whenever Pikachu would use Quick Attack or whatever, he'd like dodge around and stuff like that. Um, I believe you can find Flaffies in this grass, which is kind of interesting, I guess, I suppose. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's put Fear in front. Still got that Slave HM. We're almost at an area. I, I might as well battle you, bro. You're the only, you're the only trainer I've come across yet that's, like, dodging my eyesight. <sighs> and you're a big, huge dude. Hiker Benjamin. Oh, Diglett's great. That definitely didn't put Firo in front. Well, let's see how much Fury Attack can do. Wow! Oh, I forgot this thing's level... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't it didn't click that that thing was level 14. Okay, now I might want to switch. Uh, let's switch out to... Crocknall. Yeah, I've got some pretty good nicknames. Actually, I probably would have been fine. I've got some pretty good nicknames uh, in my head. For some of the for some of the Pokemon that I've uh, some of the Pokemon nicknames, but I haven't come up with something that's like entirely that I love just yet. I just drowned 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 your rock. That sounds like a, that sounds like it should have been like a '70s rock song. Yeah, drowned in your rock. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's a band name from the '70s. I don't know. '70s hair metal. Drowned in your rock. When I get a time machine, and all of a sudden you guys hear of this rock legend called Drowning the Rocks, or Drowning Your Rock, or a hit single called Drowning Your Rock, baby, 
uh, you'll know. You will know. And you'll be proud to have been involved in this moment. Anyway, welcome to Mahogany Town, the land of opportunity and gyms being blocked off. So you know, once a gym is, once somebody is casually standing in front of a gym, then uh, you know something's going down. Take it outside, you two. You guys are sitting, standing awfully close to each other. It's one of those, uh, do you have a map? Because I get lost in your eyes moments. Seriously. Never breaking off a sweat. Oh, you just lost, by the way. That guy stood in the same direction. I talked to you, and you lost a staring contest. Anyway. Wade, why do you call me so much? <laughs> no! Yeah, it will. It will be. This guy has some kind of problem. Hey, can I go in the gym now? Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, random man standing in front of the door. Lake of Rage, what do we got going in here? While visiting Mahogany Town, try a Rage Candy Bar. Rage Candy? I believe you can... Can you buy it from this guy? Hi, right, sunny boy. <laughs> try a yummy Rage Candy Bar. Right now, it can be yours for just 300... I'm just gonna buy it just to ha... Oh, I don't have room for it. Well, anyway, it's basically just an expensive potion in this generation. In, uh, Generation 4, uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, it's, uh, a key item, and you're gonna need it. In order to, uh... You'll trade it later on for a TM. And, uh, yeah, this guy does not want you to leave. <laughs> Pushy salesman. I don't have room for it, bro. Stop asking. See if the, any of these guys give me a red Gyarados. That's odd, since even ordinary Gyarados are rare at that lake. Awesome. My favorite radio program? I'd say Pokemon Music. Didn't ask you, so that's good. And this is the, uh, the Rage Candy Bar Factory. Isn't the music creepy here? What? That guy was ripping me off back in Violet. What kind of creepy sales music is this? That guy was ripping me off. Hmm, this place is suspicious. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Well, I think I know what's going on here. Scooby Doo moment. Something fishy's going on. Get it? Because it's a Gyarados. And... Ha ha ha. So funny, I'm so funny, I am so funny. Um, there's like a million trainers that you can train at here. Oop. Oh, and their wild encounter. Uh, you can't find too many interesting Pokemon here. There's Pidgeotto. I know you can find, if you want a, uh, a water type HM slave. Well, I mean, it's it's not even a water type Pokemon, it's weird. It's a, it's a Pokemon that allows you to have water type moves. It's, it's interesting. Whoa! This music always gives me the creeps every time I see these guys. Hold it there, mister! The toll is a thousand... What the... What the crap is this? What if I didn't have that money? We're making a bundle. Everyone wants to see what's going on. Rockets! Oh, okay, so you guys are just clones, basically. I just wanted to get this stupid item, and you had to... Uh, had to ruin my day. Max Ether. Why do I have so much crap? I guess I didn't put some of my apricorns in the... Uh, PC, which I'm going to do go do right now, so be right back. Most expensive ether ever. Max ether. Putting had to pay the stupid toll again, but that's okay. Um uh, I'm actually gonna end up paying it again, aren't I? Cause uh there's I'm not I don't plan on actually getting to the Lake of Rage in this episode. Mainly just because I don't. And the wild encounters here are over nine thousand. Oh hello Flaffy. Hello another Flaffy Taffy. A female Flaffy Taffy. <clears throat> Sadly, I don't think that nickname works. I don't think there's enough, uh, available letters. Uh... I'm gonna actually see if I gotta repel, because otherwise it's gonna get annoying. Hey, I do. Excellent. Use the repel. Alright. Now I'm gonna, uh, surf here. What is it? What can you find over here? I believe it's just, uh, it's just another berry, probably, but hey. Why not get it? Yeah, um, up here, I believe, um, remember how we saw the location where Sunny was, who appears on Sundays? Up here you can find, uh, you'll be able to find, uh, Arthur Thursday, I believe, which, uh, the next episode comes out on Thursday, so that'll be good. Is there a hidden item here? Yes, there is. Full Restore, excellent! 
Four stores are great, fantastic items. They, as their name says, fully restores your health and all of your status problems. Which is so, 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 so nice. And, and especially finding them out in the, uh, just in the forest and in the wild. It's incredibly nice. I believe you want to go, it's, it's kind of a little maze here. To, that's okay. There's no wild Pokemon up here to get where I'm going. And it's basically just for a, for a TM. But, uh, I'd like to have, is there something this way? I believe this is the way you go. So that you don't. I think the other way takes you to another item. I think this is. A, there's a TM this way. Yep. TM43. Why do I feel like this is totally useless? Uh. Yeah, detect. It's basically a weaker version of protect. But, uh. I mean, it's not. It does the same thing, but it just has less PP, so. I'd advise having, uh. Protect over detect. Anyway, go in here, talk to this guy. You have strayed far. Here, I have meditated. Take inside me, a new power has awake been awakened. Okay. Basically, he just unlocked his potential, as they would say in Dragon Ball Z. And you get TM10, which is hidden power. It draws out the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this. It's type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. Uh, I'm gonna probably do some maths between... <laughs> maths? Between this part and the next part to decide who I'm gonna teach it to. Uh, I'm thinking Heracross, but I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see uh, which of my Pokemon benefits the most from it. I'll do some uh, investigating, and then I will teach it to somebody probably in the next part. Uh, item collection is really, really fun. Item collecting, I'm number one. Uh, another album off of Drowning the Rocks. Another song off of that album. Just so you know, somebody somebody's gonna end up making uh, an album cover, so I'm just fueling you with a bunch of ideas. Just so you know. Uh, I don't think anything of significance is this way at the moment, but why not? Let's go check. Let's go see. I'm gonna have to pay the toll again anyway, so I think this is a hidden item. Yep. Ooh, another rare candy. Excellent. Another rare candy. Now, I could use this and get Croconaut to level 30, but I'd rather have his, um, evolution natural. Because he's almost, he's almost ready. He's almost ready. And it's gonna be awesome. Alright, so that was our, uh, small diversion here. Uh, getting some pretty sweet items. Now, um, that area will be revisited a bit later. I don't know if this pathway actually takes anything. I normally just go get that stuff and uh, come all the way back, but we'll see. Pid Pidgeotto! And the much better bird type. Bird type, flying type, Firo. I, I just like Firo better. It's just good. Just a good, good Pokemon. Now we're gonna use Repel again. My last one. Oh no. And uh, see what this way takes us. Hello there, skipping the uh, toll. Screw you guys. Some Bob guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great. Bob, what? Say what? Oh, it's one of you. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make fun of that too. Isn't it funny? Because this is totally possible, getting a Nidoking at level uh, 19. It's totally possible. Uh, because... Granted, it's not the best thing in the world, and it's it's extremely possible in, uh... Oh no, my face. You're so powerful. My bird almost killed you. Um... In, uh, what was I gonna say? Generation 1 and Fire Red Leaf Green, because... Hey, look at that, Fair Grid level 26. Because, uh, you can get a Moonstone pretty quickly. Ooh, Pursuit. Yeah, I'll learn that. Yeah. Get rid of Lear, that's fine. I don't need any of them stat changing moves. Alright, my Nido King did pretty right on. Ah, such a 90s, such a 90s phrase. And I miss it. When did people, when, what happened to the bomb or saying, that's the bomb, man? I miss that. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start instituting that. From now on, you will comment, this video is the bomb. I hereby force you. Anyway, 
Uh, that's about it for this episode, ladies and gents. We will probably be getting up to the Lake of Rage and figuring out what the problem is going on, what the problems are, and why the Rockets are here, and why Bob is making fun of poor Ron's Nido King. And, uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to end it off. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button, give it a good thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, from me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.